In the previous video, I talked about shifting with the left hand when playing blocked chords, so when you have to get different fingers onto different strings. But a lot of times in music, we have to play uh, a melody line or just a single line and shift while doing that. The same principles apply for the left hand. So you want to make sure that your left hand is parallel to the neck when you're moving and you're not moving side to side. And also, as much as possible, try to see if there is some kind of a, a guide finger you can use when you when you shift positions. So for example, if I play um, a scale, one octave scale on just one string, I will make sure not to do, to do this. And then let go and jump. Let go and jump back. To make sure that I don't miss it, I will glide. Keep the fingers on the strings, glide with the first finger. the first finger, place the fourth finger. So it's more important on the way back because it's natural to glide here because it's the same finger. And also you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna take them off and jump, but on the way back, make sure you don't jump this way. Because the chances of missing the D are so much higher if you let go and your pinky is all alone in finding where to go. So when you come back, keep the first finger on the string and glide it back and in that process place the pinky on the, on the D. And also, if your hand is parallel, then all you're just doing is just shifting with your um, elbow, your, your hand. You don't have to adjust the wrist position. Now that will change when you have to play higher up. So if I played the same scale an octave higher, because coming up here, if you don't have a cutaway, which classical guitars don't, um, you have to adjust your hand position to get that high G. Now it's even more important to make sure that the first finger is in contact with the string when you go back. Because from this position, you have to adjust coming back, and there's too much of a variable here if you let go and have to adjust your wrist and yourself if you're leaning over to C to get to that D without missing it. So using that first finger as a guide will make the shift a lot more secure and more accurate. So whenever trying to figure it out, see if you can maintain the hand position, but if impossible, then at least have the guide finger. That way you won't be missing anything and you'll feel more secure when you're playing the shifts.